My name's Corrine Wilkie and I run Maven and Muse, which is the management company for the Cat Empire. And we also run their record label, Two Shoes Records. And I've been with them for 18 years, so right since the beginning of their journey. My name's Tom Harris. I started in the music industry about, I think, 17 years ago as the bookkeeper at Rubber Records. Um, and then I started up my built, built my company which became white sky which is now the biggest music um, accounting and business management firm in australia we work with over 500 bands handling all their day-to-day -day accounts paying their bills etc i've also been a band manager i managed the temper trap uh, the little stevies and now i manage the kids side project teeny tiny stevies and as seen on abc and uh and i also have built and recently launched some software called tour tracks hello i'm merpire and this is james he's in my band with me um, we're a five-piece band of mostly girls except for james and um, james and i produced my last single habit a piece of advice for a young merp get out there and meet people in the industry. There's, it's a really tight-knit, small industry. Um, it's not as big and scary as it might as it seemed to me when I started off. I didn't know a single person in the industry. I just loved music and wanted to be in music. But I think I would have, uh, I would have it would have been easier for me in those early days if I just went out there and just started, um, you know, organising coffees and catch-ups with people because most people in the industry are fantastic, really friendly, really welcoming. It's such a supportive industry, um, particularly of young people trying to um, trying to crack it. Maybe just to trust my gut. I think I spend a lot of years asking other people what I should do and I still do that now for you know second third opinions and I love that people are um, some people are just as passionate about my music as I am um, but sometimes I would forget to ask myself the question before anyone else. I think um, change starts with individuals and I, um, I'm a big believer that um, as you know one, a leader in the industry in terms of having been here for 18 years and um, worked in a whole lot of spaces within the industry and around the world with the band that I manage, I feel a, I guess, a responsibility to um, support people who are um, emerging into this industry. I think the hardest thing for an independent artist especially is just having a sense of direction or really knowing what to do. So if that was kind of, you know, if, if music, as an example, was kind of taken a bit more seriously from the wider community it might be a lot easier and you know beneficial for people to kind of be able to take on advice um, whereas at the moment I feel like it can be you know half the time you're just worried about doing the right thing if it if at all so um, just having uh, you know things like changes and um, and all these supportive services like APRA and things like that are all great tools and, and great kind of a push in that right direction and it's um, very beneficial for independent artists especially. Um, although sometimes the music industry is slow to move, I think that um, usually when things get tabled and individuals start talking about things and then organisations start taking responsibility for things within their own business, within their own band, within their own venue, um, that's how change happens and as long as we start having these conversations at some level and keep moving those conversations we can um, we can create change.